going on air and blaming so so and so for this and that, I don't think it helps the unity. At this time, we must be standing together. Some say young people surrounded so so and so. I mean, just say I don't like the people, not that they are young. Because all those people you are referring to are about 40 years. How you can call a 40-year-old man with a wife and children a young man surrounding the president? I cannot understand. When I became minister, deputy minister, to my brother, I was 39 years old. Yes, we were young. But we served and served properly. I'm sure Spio was in his 40s at the time. You can't say he was a small boy. In the revolutionary period, all those who surrounded, you know, President Rawlings were in their 20s and 30s. I'm sure if you take how many years since the revolution from Uncle Atu's age or Uncle Kwame's age, they must have been in their 30s or so. And so it's not about age. Our party has always given opportunity to young people. That is what we are. And so if we lose, we cannot blame young people for our loss. And the point is the demographic of Ghana is shifting in favor of young people, 35 and below 60% of our population. So if you want to appoint appointees, where are you going to get them from? And you need those young people to gain experience to become what you consider the older and experienced people. And so I think we should stop chasing the wind. There's a time to stand together. Happily, the uh, functional executive has have recommended a neck meeting and so that next meeting will be called in the next few weeks. And I'm sure that some of these same issues will come up before NEC. And they'll be able to give us a calendar for reorganization, even as we wait for the report of the Kwesi Boche Committee. We can put in the process of beginning the branch reorganization, looking at the register. The register was one of the major issues that people complained about, whether we have a credible register, you know, even for the kinds of uh, parliamentary, presidential, and uh, constituency and national executive elections that we're going to hold. These are issues that we need to be begin to discuss at this time. And it doesn't help anybody to go on air, you know, accusing one or the other, you know. And the point is, the more we do that, we show a divided front, and it makes it easier for our opponents to, to deal with us one, one by one. And so I'll just you know, appeal, you are all ministers, you have influence over all kinds of, you know, constituents of the party. Let us call everybody to order.